If you want a free high quality photo editor without having to pay for an expensive program like Photoshop, you're in luck. Whether you need something simple for basic edits or you're someone that requires advanced features to edit your images like a pro, there's a free photo editor for you. So coming up in this top five, I'll count down the best photo editing software for your computer that you can use for free. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Adobe Photoshop Express. With a low learning curve, this easy to use program is for those of you that want to edit your photos quickly and surprisingly for an Adobe product, it's completely free. While not having as many features as the premium Photoshop, you'll find it has a good set of tools to enhance your images, including hundreds of filters, effects, and themes. When editing a photo, you'll find tools along the left to change the look, crop, make corrections, there's a spot heel and red eye tool, and you can change the border. Before making any changes, here at the top, clicking on Auto Enhance does a great job of automatically adjusting several values, including exposure, temperature, and contrast. After making any changes, you can view your original image by selecting the icon to the right of Auto Enhance. Adobe Photoshop Express is available for Windows from the Microsoft Store, and they also have apps available for iOS and Android. Coming in at number four is the feature-packed Photoscape X. In addition to their photo editor, it lets you create collages and GIFs, capture your screen, and it supports raw images. To transform your image, it includes a large tool set. There are tools to add effects and filters, remove the background, and for those of you that enjoy working with multiple images, there are several batch options. It has a user-friendly layout. The top bar is where you select the type of project you'd like to work on. The collage maker and the gift creator are located here, along with the editor. When editing your image, you'll find all the tools in the upper right. For this photo, let's change the film effect. There are many to choose from. Let's go to Looks and select Retro 1910. When you're satisfied with your changes, click on Apply here at the bottom. Photoscape X does offer a pro version for around $40 with additional tools, but for most people, the free version should be all that they need. Photoscape X is available for Mac OS and Windows 10. If you're running an older Windows operating system, select the link on this page for Photoscape 3.7. In at number three for Windows only is Paint.net. It was initially released way back in 2004 as a more advanced alternative to Microsoft Paint and still gets regular updates. Some of those advanced tools include the ability to work with layers, has tons of filters, a 3D rotate zoom function, special effects, and plugins created by the community that can be installed to enhance its functionality. It's improved quite a bit over the years and better late than never now has a dark theme. Most of the tools you would need are located in the toolbar on the left. In the menu bar at the top is where you'll find additional tools, including effects. One of my favorites is oil painting, which can be found by going to artistic and selecting oil painting. You can get paint.net for free from the developer's website with the option to donate for Windows 7 or newer. You also have the option, if you use Windows 10, to buy from the Microsoft Store for a one-time fee of around $7 to support the developer. Before we get to the top two, here are three bonus picks, all of which are browser-based, so they can be used in your favorite browser, regardless of your operating system. Pixlr has been a favorite for many people over several years. It's now available in two flavors. Pixlr X is geared towards beginners with around a dozen tools. And Pixlr E for more advanced users includes nearly two dozen separate tools. Another popular web app is Fotor, it's great if you just need something basic to touch up a photo with a decent number of tools to tweak your images. And the absolute best web app is Photopea. Its layout closely resembles Photoshop with a ton of features, including the ability to save your project as a PSD file. Best of all, it's completely free. In the runner-up spot coming in at number two is Krita. This free and open source program, just like our number one pick, has a high learning curve so it'll take some time to get comfortable using it. While it's designed for those involved with digital painting and animation, there are plenty of tools to edit your images as well, including masking tools, filters, special effects, more than 100 brushes, and includes layer management support. It has a fantastic layout with most of the tools you'd ever need located on the left. And on the right is a color selector, layers, 
and a large number of brush presets. When you first get started, there's a handy manual on their site that will teach you how to use it. Krita is available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. In at number one, taking the top spot, GIMP is the absolute best free photo editing software. Released in 1996, this open source program includes many tools, often only found in expensive programs. It's compatible with most image file types, including Photoshop PSD files. It includes a large number of tools, advanced filters and effects, color adjustments, and the ability to work with layers. When you first launch GIMP, you'll find the toolbox on the left with the layers on the right. If you've recently installed GIMP, you'll notice that you have less tools than what is shown here. If you want the full tool set to be visible here in the toolbox, go to Edit and select Preferences. In the left pane, select Toolbox, where it says Use Tool Groups. Make sure this box is unchecked. We'll close this out by clicking OK. In a recent update to GIMP, they've added a new filter called Long Shadow, which is kind of cool. I'll show you that right now. After you've created text, select the text layer on the right. In the menu bar at the top, select Filters, Light and Shadow, then Long Shadow. In the pop-up box, make any changes if needed. Feel free to play around with this on your own. To keep this simple, I'll change the shadow color to black. And click OK to finish. On the GIMP website, they have tutorials that'll help you to get started. We've also released a couple beginner's guides on our channel that might help you out as well. GIMP is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you'd like to recommend a free photo editor not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff released each Friday here on Tech Gumbo.